Here we see a picture of a typical translational equilibrium problem involving tensions in cables and a hanging mass. Let's say this question is asking us to figure out what exactly is the value of the mass that's suspended from the cables. So we're looking for M. Now they give us the tension in the right rope to be 140 newtons, but we don't know the tension in the left. We're going to use the component method to figure out what all these values are. Now what I like to do when I do these problems is focus on an individual point. All the forces converge to this little black dot that's in the middle. So I'm going to redraw a free body diagram where all the forces are pulling away from that little black dot that is pointed out on the screen. Now we're going to relabel some of these forces. The tension that is given, instead of calling it FT, I'm going to call this F right. And we know the angle is 60 degrees. We'll get back to that in a second. The tension on the left, we'll call that FT. And of course, the force that's pulling straight down at that center dot is the force of gravity FG. Now we need to get some angles before we start. And the Z rule comes into play here. If we know the upper angle on the left is 40 degrees, and I use the Z rule, or the alternate interior angle rule, we also have 40 degrees down here. Let me draw that. So if I have 60 degrees in this region up in the top, according to the Z rule, this little angle right down in here will be 60 degrees as well. Similarly, this angle right here will be 40 degrees. Let's label those on my new diagram. Okay, now we're ready to go. Now according to equilibrium, we know that the forces must balance. And we have to look at them in the y direction or vertically and horizontally in the x direction as well. And what we'll do is we'll set up two equations, one in the x and one in the y. Let's do the x direction first. In the x direction, I have a force pulling to the left given by the cosine of FL and a force pulling to the right, given by the cosine of FR. Those two forces have to be in balance, otherwise this little center dot, which corresponds to this black dot in our original picture, would move horizontally. So our equation is quite simple in the x direction. We have FL cos 40 pulling to the left, and that has to be equal to FR cos 60 pulling to the right. If we fill in the values for FR being 140, we can get a value for FL. And that's a step in the right direction. So let's do that. It's always a good idea to solve whenever you can. So FR, remember, was 140 newtons. And we're going to multiply that by the cos of 60. And we're trying to solve for FL. And if I do that, divide both sides by cos 40, we end up getting the following. Now let's look at the y direction. Vertically we see that FL is pulling up with the sine of FL times 40, and there's a component of FR that's also pulling upwards, which would be FR sine 60. Those two forces have to balance FG, which is completely vertical in the downward direction. If it didn't, the dot which corresponds to the black dot once again on the diagram, would move vertically. So in the y direction, our equation is similar. It'll look like this. The sine of FL, which is this component right here, this vertical component on the left, plus the sine of FR, which is this com vertical component on the right, those two vertical components have to add to FG. In other words, forces added up, in the upwards direction, have to equal forces down to be in equilibrium. All we need to do now is fill in the values. Remember that FL we've already discovered to be 91.38 newtons. So what's that going to look like? Our equation simply becomes and we end up getting a value for FG equal to the following. Uh, 
179.98. Notice I'm keeping a few decimal places at this stage. I don't want to do any rounding till the very end of my very final answer. Now all that's left is to answer the question, what is the mass? Well, we know Fg is equal to Mg, so the only thing left is to say Fg equals Mg and solve for M. So we get 179.98 divided by 9.8 and we un end up with the following answer. We get our mass to be 18.4 kilograms once I rounded it off to a few significant figures.